going on, everybody? Crook Dog here. I'd like to share with you a little uh, weekly paper of mine that I get that, quite frankly, I think is kind of stupid. Most of it, if not all of it, is a waste of ink and a waste of my time. But I still continue to pick it out of my mailbox, walk up my stairs, sit on the throne, and read it. So that's why I bring it to you today. To show you some of the stupid things that I read about that just kind of boggles my mind. Why even waste the time to print it? Is this what people go to school for? You know, two, four, six years? Journalism? I don't fucking know how long it takes you to go. But is this what you go to school for? To print out this shit? So let's get right to the right to the first article right here. I love it. You, you will too. Anyway, the first one, first of all, the section's called Crime Watch. Ready for this one? The first one is, uh, woman leaves dogs unattended in old home. Woo. Are you as suspensed as I am? <laughs> Who cares? I don't. Do you? The only thing that really caught my eye on this one was it was a male neighbor who happened to notice that the, uh, when he walked over to his neighbor's house, he noticed that the dogs were improperly cared for. Well, my man, what are you doing peeking in your neighbor's windows? You would have never noticed that if you weren't peeping around. Now would you have? Weirdo. And then what, what kind of fucking jarred the old fucking memory bank loose was a stupid-ass bumper sticker I seen on, uh, you know, you gotta love them dog lovers. How many fucking animal lovers are there out there? A lot. And some people treat their dogs as kids. Anyway, so I, I ran into this stupid bumper sticker probably about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, just driving. And I got behind this lady, and you can tell right away she was a dog lover. And the stupid bumper sticker, it was so dumb that I wanted to step on the gas and fucking rear end the bitch. The bumper sticker read, My dog is smarter than your kid. Really, lady. <laughs> that's the best part because you know what for your information I have a beautiful 15 year old daughter that's right very smart very intelligent and I'm very proud of her and I have yet to see her go next door into the neighbor's yard drop her pants and pinch a deuce right there on the front lawn like your stupid dog does I have yet to see that have never seen my daughter do that yet just draw, just take her pants off, squat on over, and leave a big old mountain of a deuce right in the neighbor's front yard. And then kick her hind legs back and cover it up with the grass and pull her pants up and walk back on home. Never seen her do that. But hey, your dog's smarter than my kid, right? You stupid idiots. Moving on. This one's, uh, who here's, uh, here's, here's one for uh, anybody from the Hells Angels out there. You're looking to recruit some people. This guy's a badass. Man allegedly kills groundhogs and damages mailboxes. Whoa, dude, calm down. A tw uh, what was it? A 23-year-old shirtless man was caught walking down the street damaging mailboxes after he stomped and kicked a groundhog. Whoa, my man, you are a bad motherfucker. I do not want to fuck with you. <laughs> Call him up, Hells Angels. That dude is wicked. All right, anyway, here's another one. Moving on. This shit's already fucking boring me. Probably boring you, too. You probably shut the shit off. I don't care. You think I care? I just figured, hey, might be some amusement for somebody out there. One, two, three, four people. Whatever. It amuses me. And I ain't got nothing better to do right now at this point in time. But drink my nice little stiff Chardonnay. Oh, that's good. And read you these stupid fucking articles. Here's another one. A car disappears from locked park. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. The only thing that caught my eye about this, who cares about the goddamn story? The thing that caught my eye about this was that it was a uh, silver Buick LaCrosse. Who the hell would want to steal a silver Buick LaCrosse? First thing I thought about was maybe it was some 82-year-old grandma that was late for bingo. <laughs> really needed a ride. So, uh, but here's the other thing. She got caught because uh, the, the, 
Whoever stole the damn car drove through all the shrubs and bushes when they took off. So, yeah, okay, whoopee dingback, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Thought it was funny. Silver Buick Lacrosse. I mean, you wasted your time printing that shit, whatever. Fuck, let's move on. Anyway, here's another, here's the other, here's another one. What we, what we got here? Three, here's number four. Number four on the list. Suspicious situation. So a guy calls because, here we go. There was a suspicious, the guy calls the cops because there was a, a suspicious milk container on the ground by a gas station. I'm not lying. It's, it's right here. I even highlighted it. It was so damn stupid. He called the, who the hell is going to call the police because they see a milk container on the ground in front of a gas station. Now that's the problem with today's society. You see one little fucking object out there and oh my god, it's a bomb. Knock it off, people. Quit it. Would ya? It's not a fucking bomb. It's a fucking container of milk. Maybe some dude fucking took a swig and like, I don't want this shit today and fucking set it down on the ground and fucking walked away because the garbage can was too fucking far away to walk to. So he just set it there on the goddamn sidewalk. But some other fucking idiot walks along and says, Hey, let's call the police. That might be a bomb. No, idiot. So the police showed up, and sure enough, they checked out the suspicious container, and it was milk, and they disposed of it. God, how dumb are you people today? I think what I'm going to do, I'm thinking about running around and getting a big old box of dildos. That's right, dildos. I'm going to get a big box of dildos. I'm just going to start placing them everywhere. All in weird, suspicious places. So when people see it, they're like, Oh my God, it might explode. It's a bomb. Knock it off. There we go. Number five. With any of those that are still listening to me. If not, hey, I don't blame you. Because that fucking would have shut me off a long time ago. Good. This one's called Mistaken Mood. So a guy, probably an old dude, he called the police because he thought there is a domestic situation in a vehicle. So the police show up, they check out the situation, and what it was, it was a couple that was singing and dancing outside of their vehicle. How do you mistake somebody singing and dancing outside of a vehicle as a domestic situation? I know how. You're a fucking freak. Mind your own business, stay in your house, and do not bother any of us. Because you're fucking stupid. Plain and simple. I mean, if you think a couple is fighting when they're really out there dancing and singing, my man, if you dance and sing when you fight, you've got issues. Time to go to the fucking store and get a new pair of heels. Pussy. Here's the other one. Okay, moving right along. This one's called Lawn Tools Taken. A 72 year old man. Yes, I said 72. A 72 year old man was walking to the party store, walked up to his local party store, and he left his garage door open. Grandpa. Close the fucking garage door when you go to the store. Don't leave shit open. Half the neighborhood knows you're old. Half the neighborhood knows you're by yourself. Half the neighborhood knows your situation. Lock your shit up if you're going to walk down to the fucking store. Plain and simple. Lock it up. Shut it. So you deserve to have your shit stolen. So when he came back... He noticed that there was a uh, young lad, 19 to 20 years old, with a short haircut, and he was exiting his garage with a blower, an electric hedger, uh, oh, excuse me, that felt good, a blow, sorry, a blower, an electric hedger, an edger, and a tree trimmer. Now that dude is up for a fucking landscaping business. That's what he's fucking ready to do. Ready and raring to do fucking landscaping. Which brings me to my next point. I fucking hate landscapers. You hear me? I fucking hate you. Why? Because they're a scam. They're nothing but a fucking scam. You hire them to come cut your fucking lawn. They show up. And they barely fucking take anything off the top. Bitch! Cut that shit! They, they just, just cut enough so it's all fucking even. 
I mean, you can still step in it and your fucking foot disappears. It's still so fucking goddamn long. Just cut it. Cut it already. But no, 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 no. They want to cut, make it so they have to return a second time, possibly a third time that week. They say, oh, it's better for the grass if you fucking leave it long. No, it's not, douchebag. I've been cutting this shit for fucking probably 30 years now down to the dirt. When I cut that shit, I make sure, it fucking, I make sure fucking dirt's flying. And I have yet to turn my yard yellow. Not, see the fucking color of my shirt? I have yet to turn it yellow. Grass is harder than shit to fucking kill. And that's the dead truth. You know it. I know it. We all know it. So knock it off, landscapers. Here's another true story while I'm thinking about the landscapers. True story. This is what really fucking... When I fucking... Back in the day, way back in the day, I was working in a fucking office building. This is a true story. This is when I said landscapers are off the fucking deep end. I was working in a fucking office building, and uh, we were on the first floor, and it was getting, we had severe storms rolling in. I mean, it was getting fucking dark. It was getting scary. Fucking skies turning green. Tornado sirens started going off. There's fucking tornado warnings. Take cover immediately. Blah, blah, blah. Well, we're fucking all young and stupid. We're staring out the fucking window waiting for a fucking uh, funnel cloud to come down. You know, oh, dude, let's see that fucking tornado's coming. Let's get blown away. Yeah. You know, we're all fucking pumped up, ready to do this. So, uh, fucking, it's green outside, and fucking high-ass winds. I mean, your fucking trees were fucking bending down, fucking shit blowing all over the fucking place, and fucking, whole, I could not fucking believe my eyes. Fucking torrential fucking, I mean, it was raining, but the thing was pea size, maybe penny size, no, that's a little bit big, maybe marble size fucking hail. It's fucking hailing outside. What do I see? I see a Mexican dude with a fucking hat on, his fucking earmuffs, fucking goggles, fucking with the fucking weed whipper, go right fucking across, right, right in front of us along the fucking window in this fucking severe thunderstorm, cutting the grass, and sure enough, here comes the fucking big one, fucking cutting the grass, like, those guys are out there fucking cutting the grass in this shit, when do they stop, knock it the fuck off, the grass will be there tomorrow, come back and do it then, unfucking real, true story fucking severe tornado warning and fucking landscaper just comes cruising right on by with a fucking weed whipper and a fucking lawnmower cutting the goddamn grass that's when i said fucking landscapers are fucking fucking crazy <laughs> dude anyway moving on where the hell am i all right here's one this one's kind of fucking stupid but it just caught my eye it says vehicle damaged all right we fucking read about that shit all the time but it was a fucking 51-year-old woman who fucking uh, was looking out her window and seeing that somebody pulled out of their car, fucking exited their vehicle with a vacuum cleaner, fucking smashed the rear taillight, jumped back into the fucking vehicle, and took off. My question is, brother, what are you doing fucking carrying around a fucking vacuum cleaner, and what are you fucking using a vacuum cleaner to smash out a fucking taillight for? I mean, if that doesn't seem stupid to you, I don't know what does. A fucking vacuum cleaner? Why don't you just fucking use your foot or something or fucking grab fucking like a little fucking something and just fucking hit it real quick? What you, who the hell is going to take the time to get out of their vehicle with a fucking vacuum cleaner and fucking, <laughs> fucking smash a stupid ass taillight, stick the vacuum cleaner back in and fucking take off? A vacuum cleaner? Really? Anyway, all right. Moving on, this one. This one was kind of sad, right here. This one, I I, I would like to uh, consider. Uh, I'd like to give a special award to for this one here. This one, uh, somebody smashed a window and stole a purse out of a nursing home. Why do you pick a nursing home? I would like to specially introduce you and give you this. That's right, sir. It's a dick because that's what you are. You are a fucking dick. What are you doing smashing windows in a nursing home for? I mean, can't you go to a neighborhood or a fucking mall? or What are you bothering nursing home people for? Grandma and grandpa's in there trying to, you know, chill out, live the last few years of their life in peace and quiet. They don't want to worry about a douchebag or a dick smashing windows and stealing persons, purses from their family members or loved ones that they're there visiting with. 